Welcome back, welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Marcos and today we're gonna check out this new device. It's actually the TCL 20XE. As you can see, it says it's powered by Next Vision. So it's a new device that just launched with Boost Mobile. I've also seen it at Metro by T-Mobile. So it's a, pretty much the same device. Um, so let's get started. Let's do an unboxing a bit. See what we can find out some of the specs on it and drop a like as it helps up the channel. Let's get started. So inside the box, we do get an 18 watt fast charging TCL travel adapter for the wall, USB, and then we get a USB to type C uh, USB charger, USB cable, and then the phone itself, the phone itself. And then we most likely have a quick start guide here. No case hiding in there. So if somebody shows you in TikTok, there's a case under here, there's no case in there. And then let me show you here because I've had people ask me, is there a case in there? No, quick start guide sim opener sim slot opener and then the phone itself so let me power it on and we'll let you know more about the specs all right so some of the features that i noticed as soon as i'm setting it up you can actually you actually have a fingerprint sensor and i was looking for it at first i didn't see it but the fingerprint sensor is right here so you can unlock your device with your fingerprint or you can unlock it with your face as well so um android 11 unlock with face so you can set those up as well so cool features i mean for a very entry level for 120 dollars phone very cool you can even set up where you want to um have, have your back button on your left hand or your right hand so i'm gonna do it with my left hand and let me go to the main page all right so another surprise just by setting up the device next vision improve your multimedia game photo and video experience which makes your screen image brighter richer and clearer so I guess we want to keep that on. You know, we want a better image. I mean, just right just right now from looking at it, I mean, the image are pretty sharp. So let's see if we can uh, get to the main page though. So we made it to the main page. Here's the device itself. It has a beautiful 6.52 uh, HD plus display. It also has a B-notch uh, front-facing camera. The front-facing camera is a five megapixel camera um so here's the front we do have a bigger chin here on the bottom so like it's not all screen but let's see if we can change the wallpaper to show you a little bit more the colors are nice i mean for a 120 dollar phone the colors are very vibrant they're very cool let's see so as you can see there now you can see the the chin at the bottom the b notch front facing camera and the colors are pretty cool they're very nice so 6.52 hd plus on the left side, we do have the SIM card slot opener. On the bottom, we do have the speakers and a Type-C port. On the right side, we do have the volume rocker on the top. We do have the power button on the on the right side as well. And we got the headphone jack all the way in the top with a microphone hole. Here in the back, we do have the camera. So we have three cameras, as you can see right there. The main camera being a 13 megapixel camera. The second camera being a two megapixel depth camera. And then the third camera being a two macro rear camera with a flash fingerprint sensor in the back we do have the tcl branding right there um we have like this matte kind of like uh gray finish to it uh one thing i do like about the device is very light so one of the biggest complaints from the solero that i've kind of seen in person uh from selling a few is that it's a little heavy but this one gives you like a metal feel like a like a metal back feel and a metal frame feel so uh that's what they look like next to each other this is the Solero, and this is the, the TCL device on the right side. So very similar, screen's a little bigger on this one looks like, and then that's what they look like next to each other. So this device does have 32 gigs of built-in memory. Uh, software uses about 10 gigs, so you get about 22 gigs right from the beginning. It is running Android 11. Uh, we do have three gigs of RAM. 30, um, for the processor, we do have a MediaTek P22, two gigahertz octa-core processor. MediaTek is pretty basic, it's nothing crazy. Um, it looks like for entry-level devices, they're, they're doing more MediaTek. There's nothing wrong with that. It's just not as you know snappy as a Snapdragon, which you know Samsung usually uses. Um, but it'll, it'll, get it, it'll get it done. I mean, Android 11, super clear. I mean, it does have some apps on here. Some preloaded apps like amazon and stuff like that but other than that it doesn't have anything else maybe once you activate it you'll start getting some of the boost apps but it looks it looks clear i mean it looks it looks snappy so 
nothing crazy. Like I said, it's a $120 device. Good for somebody that needs an upgrade from an old, old device. Not trying to spend over $150. Perfect device for you. So. Also, this device is only a 4G device, so it won't get 5G. Makes sense for the price. A lot of times they ask me in the videos, in the comments, how do you do a screenshot? So to do a screenshot, you would do the volume down and the power at the same time. Let me do that right now. And then it will take you to this. And I guess you can uh, scroll to your screenshots if you wanted to or uh, share or delete right then and there. So that's how you would do a screenshot. Uh, another cool feature that the device has, it, have, it has a privacy mode. So like, let's say you wanna hide an app, you know, you could always slide two fingers to the top and then let's say you don't want your girlfriend to see you have Facebook or Tinder. You know, you could always hide it right here, add it to privacy, and now that app's not gonna be in the main page or it's not gonna be located on here. So privacy app, uh, next vision, like I said, we have it on so the colors look better. Let me see if I turn it off, how would it look? Eh, it looks about the same, but we always want top performance, so let's keep it on. And then now let's test out the sound and let's test out um, a video, see how good it looks. So now we have a video here running at four, uh, 1080 by 60 frames. Uh, because you can see the colors are really good. We're playing it on YouTube. Volume's like at 50%, we're gonna go up. So as you can tell, it seems kind of slow. It's at high, you know, high, um, what would I wanna say, high uh, frames. So it looks a little slower, maybe because it's trying to load everything, but um, I mean, it kind of does the job. Maybe, maybe you wanna go, you wanna go down to, 720 by 60 so we're down to 720 by 60 feels like it's loading everything a little a little bit smoother so overall this is a budget friendly device like i said it's 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 120 retail regular retail you can get it in store for about 60 to 50 dollars and the colors are nice so not bad at all speakers at the bottom i get about an 8 out of 10 so good sounding There we go. All right, guys. So that's a quick look and unboxing of the TCL 20XE. Don't want to get too technical. I'll try and do a follow-up video on this uh, as the phone. You know, I got to play around with it and see what else it has. Uh, it has some cool features. I mean, you have a beautiful display, 6.52 HD plus display. You got a 5 megapixel camera in the front. Three cameras in the back, main camera being a 13 megapixel camera. You get to unlock it with your finger. You get to uh, do face unlock as well. Android 11, 32 gigs of memory. So solid device overall, a lot of value on this device. Um, 5,000 milliamp battery. According to TCL, it should last about 27, 27 hours on 4G. And three gigs of RAM, so it should be decent for some games. And you know, MediaTek processors, so nothing too crazy, but nothing too expensive, so. Uh, just want to do a quick unboxing. I try not to make these videos super long because I know it gets boring. And then if you have any questions, we could always address it in the comments below. Drop a like as it helps out the channel. Thanks for staying till the end. We're going to call you the later gang because you stayed to the end. Thank you very much. Have a good one.